All right, welcome back to the not quite shop, but hey, we'll make this work. So what we got here is the Milwaukee Fuel uh, 1.6 gallon M12 wet dry vac. And uh, pretty excited to get this actually. Um, just something to play around with here in the shop or in the house. Um, so I want to take a look at it and see how it differs from the M18. Uh, we have one of them here and we're just going to compare um, two meter readings between the two. Um, but some interesting things here right to note right off the bat. Um, this is two speed. I don't know that you really use both. You probably always use high, but uh, it does have two speeds. Um, one nice thing, it comes with a hanger, so if you want to hang it on your shop wall or somewhere else, you, you can, and that just clips right on the back of it, just like that, and you can easily lift the vacuum off of it. So it's pretty well designed, it's got a good positive uh, attachment point there, so that's pretty nice. Um, you have the standard two inside here. You have a hose identical to the M18's hose. And you have the same attachments stored differently, but the same attachments that came with the M18, which is okay. Um, standard components are always good. They have a notch here in the lid so the hose can come out while you're using it. And the hose unlocks here and pulls out if you would like to use this as a blowing device you can do so. And I actually did that years back with uh, I had two of these uh, when they first came out with the NICAD arrangement. Um, I used one for vacuuming and one for blowing. Uh, I was cleaning out large uh, items, so it was handy to have one doing each. Um, the latches here, if you're going to be abusive to it, I think you might be disappointed. Uh, they don't seem overly robust, and they may snap off. It looks like these are on plastic pins, not metal pins, but I could be wrong. So that may be a a failure mode type thing there. Um, but the handle, clo everything closes nicely. This handle actually has a detent. Actually it's more of a, t a clip here and here on the sides. I don't know if you can see it there and this just clips down in so the handle's not flopping around on you. It stays in place and you can hear it has a nice positive snap action. Another nice thing is they're using the same filter that they use for all of the other shop vacs that they have right here. It's a HEPA filter they say. Um, it's a decent quality filter and they're around a a decent number of places so this is a re fairly readily available item so that's always good as well um, here's your little suction ball type thing and you can see the the input area there is gasketed and whatnot and we're gonna leave the filter off because we're gonna do an airspeed velocity test on this thing and uh, just to play around with it and uh, we'll just put this back together, just like that. So we'll be back and play around with an airspeed velocity test. Alrighty, so we're back. I got a 6.0 amp hour battery. It's the most we're going to get out of this thing. And we're going to put it in here. And one of the things that I don't think I do like is 
the batteries seem to snap in. Eh, maybe not. Um, at first I thought they snapped in and you had to grab them um, and push them on either side to get them out. But just trying it here, it doesn't seem like it's necessarily too bad to get in and out. Uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things. So we'll take the hose out here. And what I got is a PVC adapter that this hose goes into, nice and snug like. And we have, the reason why this is adapted out is we have a dun, 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 anometer. And this is going to read our um, airspeed velocity uh, running through here. And this PVC is loosely the same diameter of this. This isn't overly scientific. We're just playing around. So um, let's, for the fun of it, see what we get out of speed one. So we saw 14, 14 and a half miles an hour. Um, this is all just throwing numbers out and we're going to compare it to the 18 volt vacuum. Um, again we have the filter out so we don't have any resistance there. We're just testing what the motor itself is capable of doing. So now we'll put it on plaid speed and I can say that this is, and we'll test this as well, it definitely seems quieter than the 18 volt version. Um, and that could be because the brushless motor or how they have everything in there. Not quite sure, but we will see. So let's go to the higher speed. So we can see we had about 19 miles an hour there. Uh, obviously it's going to range a little bit. I don't have this that it fixes firmly. I got to hold it here and it's you know, held on there. Again, we're just playing around to get some numbers to compare. Since the vacuums have the same attachment point, um, this adapter is an apples and apples test for us um, in this situation. So let's get the hose put back here and we'll be back. And we're back. So we also have the M18 vacuum here and this one's been used a little bit but that's okay. Um, this one we also have the filter out of. It's possible I'm gonna blow a dust cloud, cloud across the floor here. Um, but let's get the same adapter on here and see what we get out of this. So according to what we saw there, it was around 16 and a half, uh, which is less than the M12, um, and that's fascinating. Um, that's just telling us that they're developing more uh, power with the brushless motor. I'd expect maybe we'll see a brushless release um, in this at some point, um, perhaps. I know they have the pack out. Um, vacuum that they just came out with which I won't be getting one of them but uh, I believe that's brushless but uh, I don't I don't really have a use for that so uh, not gonna be getting one of those um, either way uh, kind of interesting to see that the 12 volt vacuum 
actually sucks worse than the uh, 18 volt vacuum. So the other test that I wanted to do is I have a decibel meter here and uh, what I wanted to do is just run both and see loosely what va uh, sound we get out of them. So let's play around with that. So the ambient sound we were getting on that was around 80, 85, and you could see how I was moving it here. I was just outside of it, around the area of the vacuum itself. Um, further away from it, obviously, it's going to be quieter. Um, it does seem considerably more quiet than the other. Um, I'll move the M18 where I have the 12 volt one sitting, and I'll, we'll do the same test and just compare. Okay, so we have the M18 sitting where the other was. We put the other one right behind it, so it's kind of apples and apples. I don't have it sitting off to the side there that would get sound reverberating off of it. So let's fire up the M18 and see what we get. <laughs> So I'd say we gained about 10 decibels on that. Um, the M18 was probably, you know, getting closer to 100 decibels there when I get over to the discharge side of the blower, which isn't really surprising at all. So just a fun little test there. Um, it looks like the new M12 um, not only sucks better, but it's quieter. Who knew? So playing around with some vacs here at the at the shop and, uh, and just uh, see what differences there are and and see what we can do but it is nice that both use some common components with the filters and the hosers um, being the same and they utilize the same um, adapters and stuff so if you've already got stuff it'd be easy to jumping back and forth between what you had and in fact these are um, the hoses aren't exactly the same but they're the same size as the original vacuums so if you've been using vacuums ever since uh, Milwaukee came out with them whether it was the V18 or the V28 it's all gonna be the same so that's kinda nice and um, you know you don't have to buy all new stuff so and filters are the same between all of them so that's also a nice thing. So there we go. Just thought we'd play around with it. Show you some stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have a great day.